Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Sims 3 uh, 365 Day Challenge. We Badge Challenge, we are here with Zenobi and Zane. And they just went to bed after bringing home the baby. Hannah is getting up because it is time for her to get ready for work. She has work here in a few minutes, and yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let her eat some of the peanut butter and jelly that's in here. And Braylee, this crib, I didn't realize this, but it's making her float. So she is a very impressive baby, okay? <laughs> it's only 100 simoleons, so I went with it because it's the cheapest. And we all know the three hundred sixty or $36,000 bills that's sitting outside is really expensive. And we just don't really have time for... Um, or money really for anything else other than pretty much the bills. I did have to put a doorway in to get into that room. So that cost us a little bit of money. And then I had to buy the crib, which cost us a little bit of money. But I'm really hopeful that things are going to start looking up and people are going to start getting promotions because we really need it. So I'm going to let her meet her fellow so soldiers. Um, he has work in three hours, so we actually need to wake him up as well. And he needs to come down and take care of his needs. And I think that means Zane has also got work here in just a couple hours, so he also needs to get up. He needs to come down, clean out the bad food, and eat some of the peanut butter and jelly. The baby is getting upset. So Zenobia is going to get up and go ahead and breastfeed the baby. Um, I do have the breastfeeding mod in because I personally have always breastfed my kids. And I want that option for my Sims as well. That's why I have the breastfeeding mod across all of my, uh, all of my games. Honestly. Okay, so the baby is well fed. She's good. Zenobi is going to lay her down. Alfonso and Zane are going to be going to work soon. And I'm not going to actually have her eat quite yet. I know she's really hungry. Let's let her finish sleeping first. Um, and then we'll go. They do get moodlets from it as well. Like Peaceful Mama from nursing the baby. And then she gets Peaceful Baby um, from being nursed by Zenobia. So that's really cool. And I really, really like that. Okay. So here is the reveal. We're going to go to Miss Braley. And um, we're going to look at her family tree. I don't think I talked about this, but she is an, she likes indie music. She likes cookies in the color lilac. That's kind of why I gave her that crib. She is a hydrophobic and a kleptomaniac, which is fine. Um, and she's also a Pisces. So that's really cool. And she only has three days until she ages. The final reveal of who Dada is Alfonso. He is the dad. And I'm so happy that it worked out really well for us. And things didn't go really crazy. Though it would have been funny. Um, and it would have been a lot of drama. But yeah. So Alfonso is Miss Braley's Dada. And... So yeah, that's great. I'm really happy about that. And these two guys are off to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out while Zenobia and Braley are just chilling in their beds. And everyone's out at work. And I will be back when they're all getting up for their day. Oh, we need to pay the bills. <laughs> so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so Zenobia is up. Alfonso turned in his opportunity when he went to work, which is great. He does want to woohoo with Zenobia again, and which means we need to buy a high chair so we can go ahead and do that because I do want them to have more kids, and I want to try and do this. I know I just said I'm not going to spend any money, but here I go, spending the money. Um, we're just going to buy the purple one for right now, and I'll recolor it at a later time. Um, cause I'm not quite sure of the color scheme yet. And I just think I need to, uh, not spend a whole ton of time in build mode, you know? All right. So let's go ahead and have her get some peanut butter and jelly. And then she's going to go up and take care of the baby. Late night latrines. The latrines are overflowing. Apparently the corpse of engineers forgot to drain them last week. Which leaves a whole pile of mess squarely in the lap of the platoon. Luckily, you're not on duty tonight, but if you stick around, your squad mates would really, really appreciate the help. Stay late to earn a relationship with your squad mates. Sure. 
So we're going to have Zenobia go ahead and breastfeed her again when she gets the chance. And then we'll have her take care of the rest of the baby's needs after. I need to recolor those stairs as well. I'm kind of thinking I might go a different direction with coloring with the house. So I might be doing a huge, huge remodel of the home at some point but right now i like the layout i love the layout i think this is a beautiful house it's going to be a beautiful house the outside is impeccable i love the outside this is like one of my favorite homes that i've built in a long time it just looks really really amazing and i just really love the way it's turned out um i'm not sure about the color on this but it looks fine to me honestly right now um i'm not sure even if these windows here are colored the same, I think they actually are. So maybe I won't be changing it, but the inside might be changing. Not the flooring per se, but like, you know, the color scheme uh, of the wood on the inside. So I might go with this wood on the inside and change all of the lighter woods that I put in, like the doorways and stuff. I might change all of that to match. So... That may be something I do soon. I really like the backyard so far. I want to put like a hen hedge around the backyard where they're like the kids going to play and stuff. I have a lot of ideas. Okay. I want to put steps all around this so they don't just step up and then pause. I want to do the steps so it's quicker. Um, you can do like one step all the way around. I think um, I'm going to see how I want to do it. But yeah. So. That's something that I'm going to be changing. I'm also going to be setting up this over here at some point, hopefully soon. And we still need to pay bills. So everyone needs to bring home a promotion. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Um, and it looks like everyone is set up for a promotion today. He also needs to go teach the handiness class today. And bills will be getting paid today. So we will be finagling that off. And then she's going to take care of the baby. So it's all good there. Also, she needs to work with her boss a little bit. So I think we're going to call up her boss while she's taking care of the baby just at home. Because she still has a few days before she goes back to work. Um, but yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. She only has about four more levels on this career. So she doesn't have too much more to go. And she has plenty of time. She still has 22 days until she becomes an adult. And then she has her whole adulthood as well to take care of things. So we'll be good there. And then, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about how this ended up. I really think Alfonso and Zenobia are adorable. I cannot wait to throw a birthday party for Braylee and see what she looks like when she ages up. It's just going to be the sweetest little thing. And I cannot wait to know what she's going to look like. Like I'm biting at the bit almost. <laughs> so let's go ahead and have her chat with her boss just a little bit on the phone if she can and um hopefully she become uh better friends with him because they have slipped a little bit and i do want them to kind of pick that back up baby is asleep so we don't want to be too disturbing um she also needs to use don't break a sweat three times so we're gonna do that here at home so we don't have to pay for a babysitter because that's like the best option and we're gonna let her do that now, I don't know if it'll count instantly, but if it does, maybe we could have her get off and then get back on and then get off and then get back on. This is why whistle while you police. The whistle is a very important tool of your trade. As such, your boss thinks it's very important for you to read advanced whistle techniques. Finish the task and you'll be in the good graces of your boss and will receive a good a job performance increase. Okay, we'll do that. So he can read this police book. I need to extend this. There we go. He will read that as well. We might be selling this car as well, but we'll see how the bonuses are and if people get promotions today. So I am going to go ahead and speed up a little bit because everybody is doing something. Uh, the baby is still asleep. The bills are red, so they have to be paid today. We need 36519 to pay them, and obviously we need a little bit more money to be able to uh, take care of other things like, you know, eating and such if we need to go buy groceries. But hopefully we have 36519 today. Uh, we have 7839 Okay, so here we go. We're getting some stuff in. So Zenobia got paid her 833 Alfonso got a promotion. There we go. And he is now a desk jockey. He got 480 as a bonus. Every case comes with a mountain of paperwork and the sergeant will need some fresh coffee. Tend to the 
fly files and learn to wield the stapler as a desk jockey and the lieutenant may see about getting you a position that features more action he now makes 47 an hour works from nine to three he also brought home 239 today and zane brought home 329 zane wasn't set up for a promotion quite yet he's still got a little bit more to go i guess i could have had him work hard and maybe he would have gotten one We're waiting on hannah though she gets out at two wait what oh she's working overtime until four so she's got about 15 more minutes and i think she's gonna get a promotion and then we'll see what we're at we're probably gonna have to sell the car but on um, you know on um, it's how it is you know so that's the thing okay also he is exhausted so when he gets home we're gonna have him go ahead and just take a quick nap because he is so tired um oh she just needs to do it for three hours not three times so it says it wasn't fun, sanitary, or without much, some interesting smells. If the latrines are clean, there were casualties, but your relationship with your squad mates isn't one of them. They think the world of you at the moment because you stuck around when they needed your help. She got a bonus of 480. She's now a mess hall server. Uh, it says out of one mess and into another, swap out your biohazard gear for a hairnet and give the troops their rations. Start hitting the weight bench so you can flash your biceps to the lieutenant when he comes by for his mush. The military is always looking for in-shape individuals. She now makes 44 an hour and works from 7 to 3. And she also brought home 360. So we've got 10,560. Now let's see. If I was to sell this car, it's worth 21,600. Um, so we'll say 21,500 for the moment. So 21,500 plus this would be 31,000, 32,000. And then we need another 500. It's not going to make it. Unless maybe this opportunity for him were to get it. I don't know. But he didn't go do it. Um, and no one else has another opportunity. Hang out with Jasmine. So. Hmm. What could I do? What could I do? Why is our bills so expensive in the first place, honestly? Um, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to sell the car because we need the money anyways. We're at 32160 We need about 500 bucks ish um, So what else can we sell? A baseball? That's not, that's not worth anything. Can we sell these? Are these worth a lot? There we go. I hate to sell these, but you know what? We just need to do it. We need to do it so we can pay our bills. 36000 Oh, we're only at 32000 Oh, okay. That didn't help. So we're just going to sell all of this. And we'll see how it goes. I really hope our bills are not this much next time because we really don't have anything else to sell. I mean, what else am I going to sell? Books? What's thread count? That's not his book, right? No. Mm. I think these are old books that he read for jo his job. And handiness. He don't need that handiness book anymore. He's so high in handiness, it's unreal. What else does everyone have? We have another guitar. Well, we'll sell that. And another book. It's 315. We're at 35... We gotta be at 36. Oh, we got another car? Are you joking? I just wanna see if we can sell the things in people's inventory to make the money. If not, we'll sell the other car. I mean, what else am I gonna do, you know? I gotta make bills. The right papers. I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna sell it. I don't think we've written any books yet, so maybe I'm wrong, but whatever. All right, well, that didn't make it quite enough for us. Um, maybe I could sell these chairs because I don't really, I don't really think I need the chairs anymore. I want the uh, the thing. Thirty-six thousand one hundred twenty-seven. Was that enough? No. Uh, we need thirty-six thousand five hundred and nineteen. What else could I sell? Man, I don't really think there's anything else really expensive. Maybe I'll get rid of these. 
I don't think these are that expensive though. They're not, but. And maybe I have to get rid of these. I really don't want to do that though, you know? Oh man. I'm really sad about all this. This isn't that expensive. Hmm. Maybe for right now, we'll get rid of these windows. And we can always rebuy for this, like, little office. Okay, I think that's plenty. Right? Yes. We did it. Okay, bills better not be that much again or else we're moving. <laughs> we will be moving. If bills are that expensive again, I will be moving ourselves right out of this lot. All right. She's just reading a book. She needs to come home and take a shower and take a nap. Alfonso's napping. She's working out and he is reading a book. So we can just fast forward a bit until she's done. There we go. Oh, wait. We just got more simoleons. We probably didn't even need to sell that, but that was no sweat. Changing your routine improved your workout and might even save you a few simoleons on deodorant. Oh, never mind. She got athletic skill level 8. So that's good. We're paying our bills now. Bills paid. That is one huge relief. All right. Let's have you come up here and take care of the baby. Why don't you go ahead and breastfeed her again just to keep her full and then snuggle her and play with her and go ahead and snuggle her again just as we can. Everyone else is just busy. We have 104 simoleons to our name, but our bills are paid. It did take us the whole day. I think more bills come tomorrow as well, so I'm a little bit worried, but we'll see how it goes, like I said. I'm going to go ahead and let her put Braylee in the crib, and when she's done, I'm hoping she's going to be out of the shower. I want her to... I want her to come down and to clean the toilet and um, use it. And then um, it's getting kind of late. Where's Zane? Oh, he's reading that book, isn't he? How close? I wonder how close he's getting. Oh, he's done. All right, we're going to have him come home and eat some of the wedding cake that's in there. And then he's going to take a shower and he's going to bed because he's exhausted. He's going to be up really early, but it is what it is. Um, she's also getting hungry, so I'm going to let her nap. And then I'm going to also let her grab some of the wedding cake. Oh, you know, we should have him eat the mac and cheese, but... Yeah, let's do that. I'll stop him once he gets here. Because I want him to eat the mac and cheese. It's his favorite meal. And we made it for him, mainly. So let's go ahead and eat the mac and cheese. Then we'll take a shower. And then we'll have him go to bed. Sleep. So nobody just broke the stinky toilet. Why don't you eat a piece of the wedding cake since it's your wedding cake? Alfonso, you as well. Is he sleeping, sleeping? I didn't tell you to do that, dude. I know you're tired, but come on. I want them to woohoo before they go to bed. Oh, is there no more cake? Oh, man. Eat a peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> There we go. Fresh cookies for sale. A teacher in her class at the local school are having a bake sale and you've been asked to participate. Bake two group servings of cookies and drop them off at the school to earn a little pocket change. Absolutely. Somebody's phone is ringing. Zenobia, it's yours. Answering. She's all good anyways. Ew. Somebody left a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the tape, uh, on the porch. All right, let's clean all this up. I think he's going to go take a shower and head to bed. And then Alfonso, when he's done, I'm going to send him back to bed. He is exhausted. I know. You know what? He should spend a little bit of time with his daughter. So snuggle her and play with her and then snuggle her and then go to bed. Zenobia, I'm going to have you clean up the dishes. And is there anything else that we need to do? When does she go to work? She goes to work, not tomorrow, but the day after. So maybe I'll have her chat with her boss real quick. And Hannah, she's still napping. She's going to come down and eat and then go to bed. 
So then she'll sleep. And then that's pretty much everyone taken care of. There we go. All right, he's going to go spend some time with his baby. And since we revealed that it is officially his daughter, I am going to take a quick photo of them snuggling, snuggling. Because he is a proud papa bear of a little beautiful girl named Braylee. And I love it. I absolutely adore that these two are father and daughter. That is just a priceless moment there, folks. Priceless moment. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, though, because everyone is pretty much headed off to bed and doing their own thing. Oh, I guess she didn't want to eat, so so be it. If she wants to eat in the morning, fine. I will send Zenobia off to bed so she doesn't sleep so late tomorrow at a decent time today. And we're getting the baby all taken care of there. Alfonso's now headed off, and she's headed upstairs. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below is all my social media links, so definitely check those out. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitch where I stream The Sims 2 and other games. And um, also don't forget to check out my Discord if you're interested. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.